I think it was just last year where both of these guys were getting eliminated by problem uh, in the club championship tournament. And here we are a, a year later. They find themselves in this Madden Bowl making a run with the chance to advance to the final eight. Remember, up to this point, both of these guys have guaranteed themselves $7,500. The winner of this match is going to guarantee him a spot in the final eight, but that also gives you an additional $10,000 in prize money. So oh, wow. $2,500 game of Madden going on right here as well. That's a big deal. And something I've already noticed, Pavan, he's a, he's a champion, but how are you burning a timeout before a play is even ran? You just can't let that happen. Is there, did they do all their adjustments already? Oh, they they call a timeout. They call a timeout. First and ten for Cross. Michael Vick at the helm. Oh, and how about the start from Pobbins? Defense. Shaq Griffin getting in there for the sack. Serious Mo coach is not happy. <laughs> and this is an interesting, interesting matchup because these are guys, they weren't in the group with each other originally so they might not have prepared for each other as much as they prepared for their previous opponents one thing i i don't really like that people do versus the three through five defense is uh they send their running back out and that's what makes that cornerback he's able to come in a lot easier when you block that running back it gets picked up a, a large majority of the time and that's why crush got sacked that first play third and six for crush mike vick at the helm Ricky Williams out there at halfback. Dropping back, third and six, middle of the good field. Ball. Who else but Randy Moss inside the 40-yard line. Good conversion early. It seems like Crush has had a lot of trouble getting rack yardage. He's, he's making good passes, he's catching the ball, and he's getting tackled right away. That's something you got to change. That's not how this game is played. You're supposed to be, be breaking tackles, make somebody miss. You just have to be able to do that as a Madden player. Vic, first and ten. Waiting, patient, Close. got beat down the Make field, a move. wide open, Make a move. he's standing, <laughs> he's <laughs> reaching, he's inside the 10, inside the 5 to the 3 yard There's line. a little right. Right on cue for you, huh, Mo? Yeah, it looked like Pavin might have went with a strip, so he, he kind of gave uh, Cress a little extra rack yards with uh, Perry Nickerson going for a strip. It's just never going to work out too well, like I said earlier. 40 tackle, he's just not going to be able to strip the ball from anybody. Why even go for anything but a conservative tackle? Pretty sure he doesn't have that strip ball trade either. I would, so. I would guess not. Yeah, so not a good move right there. Now he's bringing up big boys. Hand up the fullback. That's Shannon Sharp. Great Nowhere defense. to go. Good defense up the middle. Crush is kind of in that awkward zone in the red zone. When you're at the four yard line. You kind of have to run the ball. You can't run those wheel routes and those post routes that you like to throw the high balls to. So you're forced to run the ball. Hey, let's try one more time. This time, Shannon Sharp, little sidestep. Diving into the end zone. Great start for Crush. Absolutely. A great play call. Like I said, he had to run the ball. He gets in there with Sharp, puts him on aggressive, trucks everybody, get in there. Now, are you, if you're in this type of game, Mo, if you're Crush, how pumped are you now to get on defense and give yourself a chance? to get a stop and grab all the momentum. This is after huge. An open if you guys notice, he's, he, he's quick kicked it. Oh, no, he's got 90 speed. He's quick kicked it because he had minus seven wins, so he wasn't able to get the ball out the back of the end zone, but you kind of take a risk. Look, you just gave the ball to him at the 45-yard line. It's not something you want to do, but, yes, if, you can, if you're able to get a stop here if you're crushed, like I said you, earlier, you're spending so much cap on your offense. Your, your defense really isn't supposed to get too many stops in too many games. So if you're able to get a stop early, you're feeling great. And don't forget, in this game, momentum brought to you by Serious Mo. Putting the Mo in momentum. <laughs> so these guys get their adjustments ready. And Mo, RG and I have talked about it. How important are those adjustments here as these guys take that delay of game penalty and get everything set? Yeah, it's something you just almost have to do as a Madden player because you're always going to have guys out of, uh, posi out of position in, in certain formations. It's just it's really hard to set up your depth chart, so it's easiest to do it at the play call screen. It's one of the most important things you can do at home. And now our Madden 19 club champion, first time of all on offense in this wild card game. Also with Michael Vick. Also, Julio Jones right down the middle. Picks up a first down.
one and a big gash on first down. It looked like Crush actually had pretty bad stick right there. He went for a he went for a his stick, and luckily Pavon just happened to run into him after after the his stick because if you notice he didn't get a big hit. He just happened to run into his player that was already in the animation and, and made the tackle. Other otherwise it would be seven seven right now. Th that also seemed like one of those spins that was unnecessary. Just a habit of Pavon. Teddy just caught that ball and continued running. Got him. Oh, he's got, got him in step. the end. How about Two plays and Bobbin says, I got six for myself. Dot all over the field. Amazing. Amazing. He's, like I said, he's he's so explosive. Oh, he blocked it. Oh, he missed oh, it again. Missed We've it seen again. a couple of those from oh, the interior. Gosh. That It's not the outside guy. It's the second guy in is not getting that block. Hey, let me give you a tip at home. If you need to practice blocking kicks, the execution part of it, when you get the animation and get the block, just go into practice mode on arcade mode. Once you put it on arcade mode, you're going to get the jump to snap almost 90% of the time if you time it correctly. And then you can practice actually trying to execute that block. Not a lot of people know that. So a little tip out there if you ever want to go lab your block kicks. You can also go into uh, franchise mode, run the kick block drill. You get it every time. First and okay. 10. Pick That's something I'm going to do when I get home. Shannon Sharp. Can't come up with the catch. Yeah, you can go. They give you the timing every time so you can practice that angle right at the holder. Fun fact from a franchise player. Yeah, I've missed a few of them. I've missed a few of them myself. Going for the block. Second down to 10. Crush. Oh, picked off. Oh, the defense. That's Ron Parker with the pick. And a big momentum play early for Pavin's defense. Ron Parker, a player that everybody almost has on their team. He's so good for his cap. He's got 90 speed. He plays great in coverage. He's only 20 cap. He's somebody that you're going to see on a lot of players roster. How about this? Those uh, crushes. It starts. Well, how about Joe Mixon? Left side, inside Ooh. the 10. That's Crush's sixth interception thrown wow. in this tournament. Poppins thrown zero. Wow. That's a, that's, that's, I would get advantage Pavon. <laughs> Yeah, both of them with six touchdown passes for Pavin with the no interceptions. Crush a little more generous to the defense. As a timeout taken by Crush. And boy, early in this game, Mo, it, it, Pavin has gotten the ball. Crush drove down and got that touchdown, but Pavin on offense has just been dominating. Three plays and all of them have been over 10 yards. Yeah, I thought he was going to get in there. Luckily for Crush, you got him at the 10 yard line. Hopefully you can stop him. Oh, oh great the move. juke move. Oh, oh, oh he's in. Oh. Joe. Oh, oh, no. Joe into the end zone. Hey, you don't see a lot of people go for the juke move with Joe Mixon. Everybody tries to spin. But Vaughn's a lot more loose with his Joe Mixon, I've noticed. He's been trucking people. He's juking. What a great, great, great juke right there. I would have went for the spin myself and took a hit stick. So that's amazing. We always tell you to spin, you use that B button. But if you want to juke what you're running back, you slip, simply flip that right stick in the direction you want to juke. In this scenario, see Pavin gets the handoff, flips the right stick to the right, gets a crispy little juke. They push him forward into the end zone. And there's the young buck from Yuba City, California. Gives himself a nice seven-point lead. I don't know if that was sticky, but that was at least stick. It was a little stick work there. Yeah, I like it. And now Crush coming off the interception on the last drive. First and ten. Stepping up. He's got a lot of room. They got the first down. Nice safe play there. And if you're Crush that first drive, you go down and get seven. You're feeling groovy. You get some momentum. And then you just it, you just get completely deflated in two plays. But by, and then the very first play of your next offensive drive, you throw a pick. Drop back once again on first down. Getting out of the pocket. But nobody open downfield. And that Pavin defense making plays. You gotta throw the ball away there. You just have to. Nothing's there. Get rid of it. That's that Anthony Brown for Pavin. We've talked about him a ton. Budget. He likes that's his budget play with 95 speed. He constantly has him in the slot. Utilizes a, a variety of things. Oh, 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 oh. Picked up by Pavin. The lumber has been laid. They're building tree houses in Oakland. People are just running into these big hit players. Get down. You're not going to. There was four players right there. You're not going to juke them all. Get down. Yeah, there's multiple things you can do. You can get down by holding the left trigger, the right trigger, tapping the X button. And you can also just cover the ball by holding RB. 
It'll slow you down a little bit, but it will prevent those fumbles. Good defense. Whatever you do, though, is... Uh -oh. oh, no, he needs He's to get fumble. down. Oh, unfortunate. Whatever you do, don't do left trigger, right trigger, and that A button. You'll be dancing like Spoda. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely stay dance. away from that left bumper. You'll be pitching the ball back. Oh, gee. Well, how about... How much this game has changed in that first drive? I mean, this, this is huge right now for Pavin because he can just continue to milk clock, take his time. Worst case scenario, he settles for an easy three. He's up two possessions. Nick. Great defense. Out of the pocket. Nobody there. Great defense. Put that into the front row. Give that to the popcorn vendor. Of course, you've got to find a way to get your defense off the field here. You just have to. You have to hold them to three. Get a turnover. You cannot give up seven on this drive. Third down and six for the club champion. Vic waiting, taking off. Ooh, did he get slides a little short? A little short, but I think that ball got over there. It did indeed a first and ten. A smart play there from Pop. So poised in the pocket. You know, he knew he was running right away. He was going to make Crush's user make a decision. Are you going to come get me, or are you going to leave my tight end wide open? Just so poised. Something you have to do. If you see your opponent doesn't have a spy on the field, and you got some wheels at the quarterback, you can't forget about that. You need to make them respect that quarterback. So they got to start putting a spy on the Burn field. Again, no spy on the yes. field. Outside, so much space. Down. And here's what I, I've been most impressed with with this quarterback running G is that when he notices the edge rushers are wide, he's stepping up in the pocket. If they collapse in, he's going on the outside. It's a very good observation, and that's exactly what you do need to do when you scramble with these quarterbacks. And it's just a phenomenal weapon. I remember when I first started playing that, and there was before you could adjust your players to spy or any of that. So that was my biggest weapon. That's what I felt separated me. One quarter guys utilizing it. is in the book. 14-7. Bobbin on top and in business. And look at that. Coming out after the second quarter. Rush have to use a second timeout. But uh, these guys trying to stay alive. It's wild card round. Do or die. Win and you move on. Lose and you get a permanent spot on the couch back by Rico. You got to go base I don't know if you know Rico. He's liable to fall asleep at any moment. Nixon up the middle. Take up two. Good user by Crush, but I don't know if you want to be user in Ron Parker. You need to get Sean Taylor or Edmonds back there so you're able to lay some lumber on that running back. Yeah, maybe if it's blatant passing situations, you get yourself a Parker. You have the speed. You can run him around. But you're right, Mo. In this situation where you need to force a fumble, make a play, get yourself one of them hitters. Second and eight. Pavin looking to go up two scores. I would watch Vernon right here. Vernon or Moss? Eagle, Eagle. Jones coming in motion from right to left. Pavin back. Big. Spy in the middle of the field holds him. Oh, Randy Moss. That is the definition of Moss and him. Coming up with another touchdown. I think Pavon might have the best red zone out of anybody I've seen so far in this tournament. He he runs a play that not a lot of people run down in the red zone, clear out, and he motions that, that wide receiver that's on the bunch side over, puts him on a hitch so he has two three people that he can throw a high ball to and pick up a good amount of yards. So I really like it, whereas most people are just dependent on that wheel route. Well, that, that's a very good observation, Mo, and we've seen him catch people up off guard with that. We've seen Pavin probably execute more than anybody in the red zone this entire tournament. And I think you're right. It, it, it's his, the unique play that he's running, something different than that vertical. That was a really good observation. First and 10 for Crush. Down two scores. He's got Johnson down the field to the 46 yard line. And Mo, talking about Pavin's red zone offense. I think the part that, it, that impressed me the most is he seems confident with it. So many guys are hesitant in the red zone. That's where you get turnovers. Absolutely. He's playing loose, and uh, him taking down that tournament earlier in the year, I'm sure, helps with that. I'm sure before he was a little bit hesitant to make some of them reads, but he's just so loose. And I'm interested to see how he adjusts tomorrow when, when players are, are adjusting to how he's playing his red zone. I'm, in, I'm, I'm interested in what play calling he has down in the red zone if he's able to make it to tomorrow. 
First and ten. Cross two nice passes down the middle. Trying to keep it going. Steps oh, wow. out over the middle. He is killing the middle of this defense, though. He's found something that's working. Well, that, that play is always tough. You'll find it in that Tampa playbook. You got the scissors concept. Your slot receiver runs a corner. Your outside flank receiver runs a post. You have to make a decision. One of them usually open. You usually have to use a guard to post. It's a tough play right there by Crush. Crush, first and ten. Vic, left side. That's oh, open. Oh, Provin's going the other way, and he's going to be right. taken down to the 12 yard line. That's Mark Sean Lattimore, the New Orleans Saint, the former Buckeye with a play. And that's one thing I'm noticing with Crush. He's either boom or bust. It's, it's either big play or interception. There's no in between. Sometimes you just have to take those underneath routes and move on to the next play. It seems like he's trying to score a touchdown on every single play. It just doesn't, it's not going to work out too well. Look at that spin move in the hole. Joe Nixon. Well, all I'm seeing right now is the number one seed of the MCS coming into this tournament is finally starting to play like that number one seed as he has a commanding lead and advantage right right now in an elimination game where his season's on the line. Playing perfect right now. Absolutely perfect. Eagle, eagle. And for Crush, the challenge is keep your head in the game. It's not over yet, but he's got to start making some plays, especially defensively. You have to force a turnover on this drive, but Pavon's just, he's playing so well. That, that, that was your opportunity right there, you know what I mean? And it's tough whenever you don't get that, and then he's, he's still only at third and two. It's not like he's he got a sack. All he did was throw the ball away. That was your one opportunity where you needed to get off the field. Another thing I find interesting, guys, is Pavin's facing a defense. You see crushing the 3-3-5 often. That's a defense he's very comfortable against because he's been running it all year. He's so patient. Oh, he just looks so comfortable. Oh, oh Vernon. I love Vernon Davis, man. I really do. He's what do you like about Burke? He's so fast, able to spin, and he's going to get that quick spin. He spec catches way better than Shannon Sharp. All these guys use Shannon Sharp, and I'm like, Pavon's ahead of the curve. I'm telling you right now, Pavon's ahead of the curve. You'll see all these other guys with Shannon Sharp running this bunch. Pavon's with, with Vernon Davis. I love it. Doesn't look like he's going to have to make a snap before you take the warning if he so chooses. Him and Skimbo keep, keep toying with us with, with this formation for some reason. No, and they ain't snapping the ball. <laughs> Might as well show us something <laughs> interesting. Get Devlin some, some PT. A little dummy formation. Yeah, get, get Devlin out there. Make him break a sweat. Go back to the sideline. Yeah, make, him, make him run that a little a couple yards out to the formation. Yeah. Get on back here. Coach, can I just get the ball one time? Hey, let's go. Nah. Orange, orange. I do like how Crush is in an over G right now. Trying to give Pavin a little different look, and this is the type of stuff you got to do. You got to start mixing it up, just throwing the kitchen sink at him, especially when you're down 14 like this. I'd love to see a blitz, maybe make him make a mistake here. I, everybody just drops into coverage. I would like to see see him make a blitz. You got to force your opponent to make a mistake. Not a whole lot there. Tyree Kill with the catch. It's been the defense of Pavin that's been the story early in this game. Under the 145 mark again. This is wild card action. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us throughout day one of the Madden Bowl Nick Mazesco series. Mo RG hanging out with you for the final games of the day. Make sure you hit that Twitch squads button so you can keep track of the other games. Skimbo taking on six sets. Mod B. Vic. Good user by Crush. He, he caught that ball, but that was still a good user. He took away the route that he's for sure going to easily be able to make make the throw. You made him think about it. He threw kind of a dangerous pass and just happened to hold on to it. I think what, what really helped him out right there is Pavin had that playmaker Ken you talked about earlier on Tyree Kill. So when he took away the corner out and everything broke down, he just sent Hill away from the defense. End up getting a big game. Down goes Vic. Phillips around the outside. And Archie, going back to those chemistries, maybe for people who've never played Hutt before, those chemistries cost some of their cap to put on these players. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you can have Tyree Kill, and he's going to cost a normal cap, but then you have the option to add a, something like the playmaker ability to, to him, and that's going to add an additional 20 cap 
to what his cost already is. So those chemistries, they're very effective, but they're not cheap. Okay. Look at the user downfield, but nobody home with the spy. He's making great decisions with his quarterback. I wouldn't uh -huh. be surprised if you just see a run here. You know, he's up 14, getting ball at half, make it 17-point game. You would, I, would, I wouldn't think we would see a pass here, but maybe. I, I wouldn't, if it was me playing, I, I'd just run. The game, you know, you feel like the game's over if you're up 17 with ball at half. I agree. Stop, stop, stop. But these new age of players, man, they're, they're, they need their points. They go get them. They go get them. They it, are shy. It, it drives me nuts seeing them hike the ball when they're milking clock with like five, six seconds left. It's just. They want to throw that. You know what I mean? Even if you catch it, you're going to have 20 seconds with, with, with no timeouts at the 28 yard line. It's just like, you know, you ain't never going to, you're hardly ever going to get seven right there. Just run the ball, make your opponent use his last time out, get to halftime up 17, and maybe your opponent even makes a mistake before half because he's down 17 and has a little bit of time to work with. See, uh, I don't know if Pavin's comfortable kicking this field goal. Eagle, oh. He's going for it. Eagle, yeah. He must have that wind Cross, against him. He gave him. a very questionable look to Pavin. Like, he, 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 he has that seven mile per hour wind oh. against him now. Hey, this is a big play right here. This is how you got momentum back if you crush. Uh, wide open. On Moss. That's too easy. Oh, he's oh, got six. It's he's he's gone. gone. He's got one block. On the left side. Dick back there. Make a move. Oh, you got to make a move early there. Wow. How about the momentum That's play big. before half? Now he has to get points. He's got time to make get points. He still has that one time out. He's at the 47 yard line. Oh, you said it, Mo. He just needed to run the ball, get in field goal range, make the three possessions. And Moss is one of those cards. He does let the ball go. He does let the ball go. Outside of the pocket. Ten seconds. Late. Has the man downfield. That's they caught it. Ocho Cinco wow. on the 18 yard line. And hey, we're going to see a wheel route right here, too. He's going to have a chance to throw that high ball wheel and maybe get seven or, or turn the ball over. Oh, my goodness, Mo. You called it right on the money. Pavin getting a little too greedy, and now here comes the crusher. Stepping up. Got him. Missed it. And nobody open. Three seconds, two seconds. He'll slide he down. He got scary with the time out there. He kept running with his quarterback. Just get down. You almost cost yourself a field goal. You seen the post, right? You thought he was going to yeah, throw the post. He, throw he, had the post. A little, he had a little window there. He could have thrown it. I thought so too. Well, how about uh, the, the game has changed at least a little bit. It was looking like we were going to have a, another score from Pavin instead of fumble on fourth down, 21-10. Crush cuts it back to an 11-point lead. Pavin getting the ball at half. Uh, Nick Mazesco, Sirius Mo, RG, uh, and Mo. Uh, this game, we're seeing what we've seen basically all year. How impressive Pavin has been, uh, really since uh, his run at the club championships. Yeah, definitely, definitely still impressive, but he had a chance to take a three-possession lead right there. Ends up getting a turnover, although it was a fumble. It's like he could have easily cut, got his field goal, but he he played too a little a little too aggressive, and you know it's it, it's little things like that where you do need to learn something. You have to you still have to have that reality check. Although you have already made over a hundred thousand dollars this year, you know you can continuously get better. But so impressive watching him play. RG, what does Crush have to do to get back in this game? Uh, it's gonna come out to this opening drive real quick. You're gonna need a uh, Crush to get a defensive stand, get the ball back, get a chance to get some points, put some pressure on the defending club champion. Pavin, of course, he finished the season as the number one ranked player on the MCS points list and the MCS money list. So not only did he get the automatic qualifier for the clubs, he was the top of the points list, uh, and he made a little bit of dough this year. It's gotta be, that's a great year. He's just been way ahead of the, he's just been ahead of the curve all year. You know, everybody's so close. Everybody's so good at this game. That's the that's the thing. Everybody in this top 16 is so good at the game, but he's just been just this much more, just a little bit much more. He's just been ahead of the curve. He's been in this 3-3-5 way before everybody else when everybody was running nickel, nickel normal, and now everybody's in it, copying him in this 3-3-5. He's just been ahead of the curve, and that's all it, that's all it is. Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, RG. I mean, scale of one to ten, I'm putting this at about a nine at how important this drive is for Crush to get a stop. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. If you're Crush, you have a chance to really, really make the momentum favor, get the momentum to swing in your favor. 
just need to get a stop. First down at 10 for Vic. Down goes Vic. Phillips, his second sack of the day. Good start for Crush. Absolutely. He's got to find a way to get off the field this drive. He cannot give up a touchdown. A field goal you're okay with. You know, because it's still two possessions, but you have to find a way to, to hopefully force a turnover. But if not, don't get too aggressive when Pavon's in the red zone. Just hold him to three. Play a little bit more conservative when he gets down there. Second and long. Vic. Make a tackle. Underneath. <laughs> Quick throw. That's another first down. Pavon doing what he's done, RG. Working his way down the field. Good read, and th that's what Mo was talking about earlier, just being able to get that rack after the throw, something that Crush has been struggling with. But Pavin right there, a nice little safe check down, turns it into a big first down game, gets a new set of downs, and continues to be able to just milk that clock. He may be going a little too conservative here, though. He's coming out in strong close in the third quarter with four minutes left. I just don't like it. It's almost like a waste play, but never mind. Run to the outside, picking up. It was like about eight yards. You think, look, going back to the first half, you like that he's coming out, running the ball now, but it probably should have been doing that on the last drive. Absolutely. Uh, every now and then, I agree with Mo, you don't want to get too conservative, but every now and then, you want to test someone's run defense. Like, what does it look like when I come out in this strong close, and how open are those running lanes? And you saw right there, he had a little bit of room, so. I wouldn't stay content in that formation, but just know Crush's defense didn't look great against it. And here he goes, right back to it. Right back to the strong close. And off. How do you feel about him running the ball up the middle with a wide receiver, though? How do you feel about that? I mean, that's a pretty good wide receiver to run the ball with, but... Uh, Until he gets hit stick by Sean Taylor, then then everybody's second guessing it. I, I would agree with you, but it's not like they're running with great running backs anyway. It's like point. 80 overall, 81 overall, oh, Joe Mixon. So great point. these guys are already taking a lot of risk the, the, the way they run the ball. Hey, the way they spin around with all their players, uh, it really it really does shock me how, how little they care. Then they're so ready to complain about how they fumble. Exactly. You can't <laughs> complain about fumbling when you're as reckless as they are sometimes. RG talking about 81 overall running backs is bad in the franchise. I'm like, my guy's 81 overall. It's a different world here in Mutt. Absolutely. I mean, you saw some of these guys, like, um, some serious playing with that high overall Eddie George. Uh, we saw v with a 96 overall Chris Johnson. So some of these guys, they get some real deal running backs back there. And then some of them are like you franchise guys with their 81 overalls. Off left side, not a whole lot there. Crushing the stop bad. Pavon just switched over to conservative, so we might not see a fumble from him this drive. I don't know. I think if he hands the ball off to his wide receiver, he can still fumble that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure if he's handing the ball off to his wide receiver, if he gets his stick, he will still fumble. And just to clarify, when Mo says Pavon's running on conservative that's a coaching setting that you can make at the play call screen and that's going to reduce your chance of a fumble but it also disables all your ball carrier moves so even if he wanted to spin or juke he's not able to it literally doesn't work once you switch that conservative ball carrier setting Big corner out. Second 11. got him corner out julio jones the five yard line boy I mean, again, the one turnover was a fumble mode, but Pavin has been methodical working his way down the field. Crush came out, first play, gets a sack, didn't mean anything. Pavin just putting it together, so methodical, surgical, just with ease, no pressure at all, just making his hit the right reads every single play. Double, double, double. Minute 39 and counting in the third quarter. Pavin, an 11 point lead. This the first drive of the second half, and once again, look at the amount of clock. Now, Pavin's been able to use. And off, trying to find the end zone. Oh my. Fighting through, rolling over, down inside the one. I thought he was gonna get in there. That would have been an amazing play for Pavon. Not too, wouldn't have been too fair, too fun for Crush though if he got in there. I mean, this is big for Crush. There's one yard to go to stop you from, you know, you're going to go down three possessions if he gets in right here. Oh, that's a timeout for Pavin. 
But if you're crushed, you need to get stinge mode right here. I mean, holding the pop into three if you can do it. Got to find a way. It really keeps you in this ball game. Trying to sneak it in the end zone. And he does. Another score for Pavin. Mo, you look at that clock. He put together a four minute, 10 second drive in the NFL. That's not a lot. Here in Madden, though, that's massive. It's a great drive. Did exactly what you needed to do. Crush, he just, he just couldn't hold him. Kavon's too good. You, you've played Crush a lot this year, Mo. Do you feel that he has the style of offense that could get him back in this ball game? Certainly, but like I said before, it seems like he's either having a big play or he's turning the ball over. You gotta, even though you're down 18, you still have to score seven. You can't just turn the ball over here. It, even if it takes you two minutes, three minutes, you gotta focus on getting seven however you can get it. Yeah, the post drop open and said he's gonna throw it away. How about this? Well, you said how good, you said Pop and probably the best red zone player. He's a perfect 10 for 10 in the red zone during group play. Touchdowns? T eight touchdowns, two field goals. Wow, that's, that's he's a He's 80% wow. touchdown rate. That's impressive. Yo, that is very impressive. I mean, I think that's what I struggle with more than anything when I play Madden this year is getting down to the red zone but turning it into touchdowns and not field goals. To see Pavin scoring touchdowns at 80% of the time, I mean, like you said, just very impressive. I'm blown away by that stat. He, he reduces a lot of his risk when you see a lot of people throw these wheel routes. He's throwing it to open players. Oh, oh, he gets a pick, the lumber once again That's coming cold. out. Oh, Pavin, the smiles on the gums being chewed because he knows he's about five minutes away from single elimination haven. He's played amazing in this game. You, you can't take it, not a single thing away from him. Crush just simply has been outplayed. And this is one of those games, if you're Crush, you end up walking away like, I don't know how much you can take away from this. Who's just straight out popping was the better player so far. There's still five minutes left, but... It has been all Pavin, our back-to-back our -back Raiders club champion, our Madden 19 club champion. Put your fours in the chat. We're headed to the fourth, all Pavin. Twenty-eight ten with the ball. RG, and, and for the guys back in the players' laps, this has got to be alarming to watch at how Pavin is just, it seems second nature for him right now. It, it's it funny. So smooth. Look at this. You see it. It's funny, too, when you go back there in the players' lounge and you hang out with all those guys, uh, they're quick to root against guys like Pavin and Skimbo, even though they all have friendships, because remember, at the end of the day, there's only one winner. And if there's a guy that you think's a tougher matchup for you, you're not going to want to see him do good in the tournament. Around oh, the outside, oh, the room. I don't know if you heard, RG. I went in the players' lounge for a second. They all started rooting for me to win some games. I'm not sure how that's possible, but we want that guy in single elimination. Yeah, probably a, a lot safer getting on the sticks versus you than against a guy like Pavin. Down under the four minute mark. The surgical offense from Pavin continues. 28 to 10. Vic. And man, even when he's taking sacks, he's stepping up in the pocket, only taking a four yard loss. And there's Spoto. He'll play the winner of this game. And if you're Spoto, Mo, I mean. If you're Spoto, you're saying, yeah, I went through, you know, now I got to play the best player in now the world. Now I got to play Pavin, who might be playing as well better than anybody. But remember, in the Madden 19 Challenge earlier in this year, Spoto was the one that eliminated Pavin with a 20-10 to 10 victory. So we might see that rematch later on, and best believe Pavin's going to be the one looking for revenge. Yeah, we wanted to talk to Spoto, but for some weird reason, he, he wasn't interested in talking. He's locked in. That surprised me. I, I think he normally likes to get on there, but I think he just. I think the FCC might have said he could. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think it's, it might have been that. 28-10. Look at this. We're already under three minutes to go. It's got to be as tough as it can be, Mo, for Crush. You have to be stuck in this game. You have to keep playing. You're getting outplayed. 
and the dominance has been from front to back. I think the biggest thing with Crush is that he knows he just didn't play his best Madden today. You know, he made it out of his group, but I think he, he's still unhappy with his group performance. And then he gets another opportunity versus Pavon, and he just doesn't make it happen. He just knows he didn't play his best Madden today. It's got to be rough, too. I mean, all the hard work, you know, eight months, he put a lot of time and effort into this game, and to just know that your MCS season's going to be coming to an end, that, that, that can't be an easy feeling for Crush, but definitely should hang his head high. Like you said, this is only his second year competing. He's it, made a lot of these events. He's made a lot of good money. I'm sure we'll see more of them, but nonetheless, I'm sure it doesn't sting any less for that young man. We're going to pump this ball away. How about that Madden 20 trailer we saw earlier? Patty Mahomes on the cover becomes the eighth quarterback ever to grace the Madden cover. Joining this group, Culpepper, Vic, McNabb, Vince Young, Brett Favre, Drew Brees, and Tom Brady. That's a pretty good crew to have joined on the Madden cover. Well, I'm a huge fantasy guy, so I love me some Mahomes, man. And he's easy to like, too. You know, he, he composes, he's, he, can, he takes care of himself so well, especially with the media. Like, he puts himself out there. You've seen him at the Texas Tech game. like. How cool is that? Like, I, I love I, that guy. I hate Patty Mahomes because I'm a fantasy guy and he wasn't on my team. Oh, okay. I had to play him in the semifinals. Uh, he put up a couple points. On oh, that did he? Team. One or two. Hey, they tell you about Donnie Moore beating the rating czar. He's also a fantasy guru. I split some fantasy teams with Donnie this year. He had Patty Mahomes in every single one of them like a true guru. Or you get me in on that one next time? I got to be a Donnie no, Moore. No, like no, 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 no. I'm not the you. Donnie all the most. That's your yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, no, RG. No, 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 no. Show me some love. You don't get a... It's only a matter of time before we lose Donnie to one of those, like, you know, morning fantasy shows on Sunday or something. I mean, he's a real cool. He's going to go work for, like, 538 stuff. and just... I'm telling you, he's a beast. The stats we get from Donnie Moore. Killing it back there. Everybody's killing it here. Day one winding down. Don't forget, we got two more days of action here from the Madden Bowl. As Cross throwing it up. Looks like he's got him. Oh, no. Oh, gee. Oh, what a play. And I will say that I really do love having James on here. It's awesome. And having, you know, Serious Mo at the desk. Mo, I think you've done a phenomenal job. And I, for sure. I, I can't wait. I hope the MCS continues to do this, bringing pro players like yourself here at the desk because the insight that you guys bring is it's just so valuable, so awesome. I appreciate it. It looks like they're going to call it quits a little bit.